In this video, we'll be taking a look at three NBA games happening on November 2nd, 2022, and providing you with free team picks and total picks for each one of those games. So two picks for each game, six picks in total. Welcome back to Cash Out Sports. Let's dive right into it. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe and to click the bell icon to get notified as soon as these videos get released so that you have more time to plan out your bets as we provide these videos on a daily basis. I can guarantee that you'll have all the important information that you'll need on these three NBA games after fully watching this video. One more thing before we start, if you would like to gain access to our best exclusive betting picks to take your sports betting journey to the next level, then check out our Patreon in the link down below where we offer anywhere from one betting pick a day up to 10 betting picks a day and much more. Now let's get started. Boston Celtics vs. Cleveland Cavaliers The Boston Celtics head to Cleveland to play the Cavaliers on Wednesday. Boston snapped its two-game losing skid last time out with a 112-94 win over the Washington Wizards on Sunday. Cleveland is on a five-game winning streak after dropping its season opener to the Toronto Raptors. The Celtics are 21-8-1 against the spread in their last 30 road games and 9-3 against the spread in their last 12 games playing on two days rest. The Cavaliers are 5-0 against the spread in their last five home games and 5-0 against the spread in their last five games overall. The under is 4-1 in Celtics' last five road games. The over is 4-1 in Cavaliers' last five overall. The under is 4-1 in the last five meetings. The Cleveland Cavaliers have been one of the best teams in the NBA to begin the season. And despite that, at home, they are two-point underdogs against the Boston Celtics. When these two teams played on Friday, Boston did not play well in the second half or in overtime, but Cleveland was able to expose some holes in the Celtics' defense. Cleveland has been a bit worse at home to begin the year, but they are still shooting 43.4% from the field and 39.7% from three at home. The Boston Celtics are going to get the benefit of the doubt more times than not, but they already lost to these Cavs at home. The Cleveland Cavaliers are quietly one of the hotter teams in the league. They're clicking offensively out of the gate, and you know the crowd will be out in full force for this one. Hot Cavs team, title runner-ups coming to town, national TV. Cleveland has a statement game for the first time in a while. It's kind of disrespectful to see the Cavs in the underdog spot here. So the Cleveland Cavaliers to cover the spread as underdogs is our full game side pick. As proven when these two teams played on Friday, both can score a ton of points and neither team's defense was all there against each other. The game was 132 to 123 for 255 total points while in Cleveland's games this season they are averaging 228 points per game. Boston, meanwhile, is averaging 231 points per game as their offense is clicking while their defenses have struggled. Meanwhile, Cleveland is 4-2 in hitting the over while Boston is 3-3. Along with that, Boston ranks 13th in pace at 99.5 while the Cavs ranks 15th at 99.1 as both teams can play quickly and score fast break points. Over the projected total is our full game total pick. Charlotte Hornets vs. Chicago Bulls The Charlotte Hornets travel to the Midwest to take on the Chicago Bulls on Wednesday night. The Hornets are coming off a 115-108 loss to the Kings on Monday night. The Chicago Bulls come home flying high after taking down the Nets on the road Tuesday night 108-99. The Hornets are 18-7-1 against the spread in their last 26 road games and 7-3 against the spread in their last 10 games overall. The Bulls are 2-8 against the spread in their last 10 home games and 1-6 against the spread in their last 7 games playing on zero days rest. The over is 7-1 in Hornets' last 8 road games. The under is 9-4 in Bulls' last 13 overall. The Hornets are 1-5 against the spread in the last 6 meetings. Charlotte is down 2 starters, as well as reserve Cody Martin. While Zach Levine is expected to suit up on Tuesday versus the Nets, the team plans to sit him in the second game of the back-to-back -back against Charlotte. After undergoing off-season knee surgery, Levine has played in just 4 games as the team eases him back into the starting rotation. The statuses of Drummond, Dawson and White are also unclear, as all three were questionable for the Brooklyn game due to injuries. With less star power on the court, depth will be a concern for both sides, especially the Bulls, with no day's rest between games. If Chicago can't keep the Hornets off the glass, it could be a tough night for the home team. 
Given their lackluster defensive metrics, Charlotte might not have its own superstar, but it still has a lot of talent with Hayward, Washington, and Kelly Albert Jr. Dennis Smith Jr. has also filled the void left by Rosier, putting up a stat line of 12 points and 6.4 assists on 48.7% shooting, including 44.4% from three. Charlotte opened as a six-point road underdog, which looks a tad high with Levine out of the lineup. It's 4-1 against the spread in its last five games versus a team with a losing straight-up record, while Chicago is 1-6 against the spread in its last seven games playing on zero days rest. I like what Washington has shown over the past two games when the team counted on him to make buckets. The Hornets also proved they can win important road games down two starters against Golden State and should cover this spread in a similar opportunity in Chicago. So the Charlotte Hornets to cover the spread as underdogs is our full game side pick. The under is 5-2 in the Bulls' last seven games playing on no days rest and 4-0 in the Hornets' last four versus a team with a losing straight-up record. The under is also 5-1 in Chicago's last six against a team with a losing straight-up record. Considering the lack of firepower for both parties, these trends are more likely to continue to play out on Wednesday night in Chicago. While both squads are top 10 in pace of play, the Bulls rank 20th in points per game, and the Hornets are playing well defensively, limiting opponents to 45.5% from the field and 30.1% from three. Under the projected total is our full game total pick. Los Angeles Clippers vs. Houston Rockets The Los Angeles Clippers will play host to the Houston Rockets for the second half of a two-game series. This is the second two-game series for each team. The Clippers were swept by the Thunder and the Rockets split with the Jazz. The Rockets have been less than impressive this year and are yet to secure a win on the road. Meanwhile, as the preseason odds on favor to win the Western Conference, the Clippers have been a disappointment out of the gate. Los Angeles started the season off 2-0, but dropped the next four before taking the first of this series. Paul George is leading the Clippers in scoring with 21.7 per game and Kevin Porter Jr. leads Houston with 20.2. This is a much needed win for both squads. Let's break it down. The Los Angeles Clippers will be looking to build some momentum after putting an end to a four-game slide with a 95-93 win over the Rockets on Monday. Paul George led the way with 35 points, 9 rebounds, 8 assists and 6 steals. Ivica Zubac added 16 points with 12 rebounds and 4 blocks while Markeith Morris chipped in with 11 points. As a team, the Clippers shot just 42% from the field and 9 of 36 from the three-point line as they squandered a 10-point lead before rallying in the fourth quarter to steal the game on some clutch play from George in the final minutes. Meanwhile, the Houston Rockets have been in terrible form as they've lost seven of their first eight games and they will be hoping to arrest a four-game slide after falling painfully short to the Clippers on Monday. Kenyon Martin Jr. led the team with 23 points on 9 of 17 shooting off the bench. Alper and Singh added 14 points, 9 rebounds, and 3 assists while Kevin Porter Jr and Jalen Green each scored 13 points. As a team, the Rockets shot just 38% from the field and 8 of 28 from the three-point line, which was enough to hang with the Clippers all the way until the final seconds where the Clippers escaped on clutch plays from George. Green had a night to forget as he shot just 4 of 17 from the field. The Clippers are 2-7 against the spread in their last nine road games and 0-6 against the spread in their last six games overall. The Rockets are 27-55 against the spread in their last 82 home games and 9 to against the spread in their last 12 Wednesday games. The under is 6-1 in Clippers' last 7 overall. The over is 6-1 in Rockets' last 7 home games. The under is 5-1 in the last 6 meetings in Houston. The Clippers will again be without Kawhi Leonard and Robert Covington while the Rockets are missing tidy Washington JR and Yeezy and Tate. Nobody is rushing to the window right now to back either of these teams. The Los Angeles Clippers continue to have issues scoring the basketball, and they're still without their best player in Kawhi Leonard. The Houston Rockets have issues of their own, but they have athleticism and scoring on this roster, and they just took the Clippers down to the wire on Halloween. Houston is one of the league's worst teams, and Los Angeles can't get anything going without Leonard. When these teams met on Monday, the Rockets should have won, but they blew their lead in the final minutes. Los Angeles has failed to cover the spread in six straight games and will be without Leonard once more on Wednesday. In their last 12 games against Houston, the Clippers have only covered four times. At home, the Rockets will have their chances to steal this game against an undermanned Clippers side. So the Houston Rockets to cover the spread as underdogs is our full game side pick.
The Clippers have been slow to get off the mat so far this year, but the Rockets can't stop a nosebleed. They are dead last in both opponent shooting percentage and opponent two-point percentage. Not only should points be easy to come by, but both of these teams are bottom five in turnovers per game. Turnovers lead to fast breaks and fast breaks create points. Houston is yielding 116 points per game to their opponents and also putting up 90 shots to their credit. With the combination of high turnover rates, Houston's pace of play, and the second chance points the 24th ranked Clippers allow, this has all the makings of high scoring affair. While game one could have been mistaken for a Sunday afternoon pickup game, I expect better shooting performances from each team. Over the projected total is our full game total pick. That's all for now, so if you have any other games you would like reviewed, then leave a comment down below with the game you would like analyze. Subscribe to our channel, leave a like on this video, and we'll get to it as soon as we possibly can. We would also love to hear your opinion on the picks presented to you in this video, whether you agree or disagree with them, so leave a comment down below and do let us know.